Hello and welcome back to the show. Today's subject are members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints Christians. Let's have a crack at it. All right, are Latter-day Saints Christians? The question seems simple enough, and for most people it probably is, but here's the bottom line. Whether or not you consider Latter-day Saints to be Christians will depend entirely on what your definition of a Christian is. But if your criteria for what it means to be a Christian are different from my criteria, we often end up talking past each other. You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. And even if we go with the basic dictionary definition of a Christian, one who professes belief in the teachings of Jesus Christ, we can still go around in circles arguing about what is and is not a legitimate teaching of Jesus Christ. Sometimes Protestants or Catholics or whoever will draw up a long list of beliefs that set Latter-day Saints apart, and they'll say, look at how different their beliefs are. That's bad. Clearly, they're not Christians, and there certainly are many differences. But what I take away from that approach is that clearly we are not Protestant Christians, or clearly we are not Catholic Christians. But for me, it doesn't answer the question, just how different do your beliefs have to be in order to be removed from the umbrella of Christianity? And by what authority is that determination made? Some might say that in order to be a Christian, your beliefs have to conform to what the Bible says. And that makes sense, but what do we do when we disagree on how the Bible should be interpreted? How much error should be allowed before you no longer qualify to be a Christian? After all, the term Christian is only used three times in the New Testament and is never defined. The earliest Christians didn't even have the Bible as we know it today, and some mainstream Catholic and Protestant beliefs weren't defined until centuries after Christ. So how does that work? These are tough questions that I'm not going to attempt to answer. Your definition of a Christian can be as narrow or as broad as you want. Personally, I imagine that God probably casts as wide a net as humanly or godly possible. I see what you did there. I don't think he's in the business of looking for reasons to damn his children. But here's the way I tend to think about this question of Christianity. Imagine two friends getting together to play a board game, let's say Monopoly. But as they start to play, they realize that they disagree on what some of the rules are. Can you collect rent while in jail? Can you trade properties when it's not your turn? Do you get money when you land on free parking? And for a moment, each player starts to wonder, do we just disagree about what some of the rules of Monopoly are, or is one of us confusing Monopoly for a different game altogether? And that's really the question here, I think. Do we believe in a different Jesus, or do we just believe different things about the same Jesus we've all read about in the New Testament? Here are some of the rules that I play by as a Latter-day Saint. I believe that Jesus Christ is and will forever be my Savior. I believe that he is divine and can rightly bear the title God. I believe that during his mortal life he performed miracles, healed the sick, and taught people a better way to live. He asks me to mourn with those that mourn, to be meek, merciful, and a peacemaker. But he was more than just a radical teacher or even a prophet. I believe that he suffered and died on the cross for our sins, and that he was resurrected a few days later. He wants me to have faith in him and to repent of my sins. I believe that it is only by and through Jesus Christ that I can return to the presence of God the Father. Without him and his sacrifice, there is no possible way that I would be able to work my way into heaven. I personally believe that there are more than enough similarities to indicate that Latter-day Saints, Protestants, and Catholics are all trying to play the same game, we just disagree on some of the rules. For example, we diverge from more mainstream interpretations of the Trinity in a few ways. We do not believe in sola scriptura, or the inerrancy of scripture. We believe in a three-tiered heaven as opposed to the traditional heaven-hell dichotomy. We believe in deification, or theosis, which we've talked about before. We believe that those who die without ever learning about Jesus will still have the opportunity to accept his gospel after this life. There are plenty of similarities and plenty of differences between our faiths. Are we Christians? I think we can all at least agree on one thing. Again, we are clearly not Protestant Christians, and we don't claim to be. Likewise, we're clearly not Catholic Christians either. If you're open to it, perhaps you might categorize us simply as Latter-day Saint Christians. 
that might be a good way to both recognize the things we have in common, while also making it clear that we don't belong to the same exact flavor of Christianity as you, if that's something you're concerned about. But of course, you're free to do as you please. If you've already made up your mind on this question, that's fine. But if this is still an open-ended question for you, I want to sincerely invite you to talk to your Latter-day Saint friends about what they believe and how they live. Visit a Latter-day Saint church service if you dare and come to your own conclusions. And if you don't have any Latter-day Saint friends, guess what? You have some now. Feel free to shoot us a message on Facebook or Instagram if you'd like, and we'd be happy to chat with you. Thanks for watching. We didn't have time to go over this quote from the Methodist scholar Jan Ships, which I really like, so pause to read that if you have a second. Watch some of our other videos while you're here, and have a great day.